everybody, welcome back to more YouTube channel. It's Chris back with my thought of the day. A real quick one, this, a special delivery, if you will. Good that, you see what I mean? I'm talking about the Amazon documentary. That's right, a special delivery indeed. So it was the premiere of the Newcastle United documentary, the Amazon behind the, the scenes documentary, which is called We Are United, a four-piece documentary, which starts on August 11th. We've all seen the trailers. You know, uh, the anticipation is high. Our appetite is wet, wetter than the bloody northeast weather, which is very wet at the moment, as you can tell from any raindrops on my uh, mobile here but yeah so really exciting i can't wait to see a documentary of what i've seen so far it looks absolutely brilliant they had a premiere at the tyneside cinema uh, yesterday and they obviously invited uh, all the players were there um looking very sharp indeed anthony gordon looked like he was about to say the new iphone but looking very sharp and um, they had eddie howe there they had amanda staveley there you know, they had some very lucky newcastle united fan channel and content makers who were, were exclusively invited to that so fair play to them uh, massive respect for that you know it's obviously all the work they've put in over the years growing their channels and everything else to get an opportunity like that is is fantastic maybe one day we'll get invited click subscribe guys if you can help us get there you never know three years i might be at that premiere or me and mark who knows um gabby logan hosted it. i've got to be honest with you, i was quite surprised pk wasn't hosting it. the amount of tv he's done recently big shout out to you pk love you mate uh, but yeah gabby logan is a newcastle united fan if you didn't know already so she hosted the event um got the, the manager on stage, players on stage, Amanda Stable on stage, and obviously talked to them, answered questions from the fans and everything else. So all really good, brilliant, wholesome content. Obviously, I've not seen any of the documentaries. It was the first two episodes that were screened exclusively for the people who had the invitations. But I have seen some bits and some content makers that have, that have obviously come out and said a little bit about it. Big shout out to Eddie from Tyneside Life. Love what he does. Real wholesome content. Seems like a top bloke as well. Um, you know, so I saw some real stuff, real good stuff from that. Um, you know, talking about the the emotional element of it. You know, kind of going from relegation to Champions League in a season. I mean, what a season it was to do a documentary like this. It, it would be like you know, probably the best football drama since Dream Team, probably, in terms of the ups and the downs of the football club as well. But, um, you know, you're talking about you know, surviving relegation, getting a cup final, qualifying for the Champions League, all with this this brilliant, articulate, mesmerising, engaging manager in Eddie Howe that, that we have, you know, which is absolutely superb. So I'm really excited to look at it. I'm really excited to watch. I'll be straight on it next Friday when it, when it comes out. Um, but I think what it might do as well, there's two sides to the coin here. Now, when the documentary was first announced, I, I, I shared some concerns, I think myself and Diane and a couple of others, that it would bring a lot of uh, scrutiny on the football club in terms of who the ownership model is. Now, And I know that will still happen. There's a lot of people who aren't comfortable about the ownership, you know, and, and I think that's, you, that's, their, that's their right and you have to respect that. You can still support your football club and, and, and still ask questions about your owners and, and you know what they stand for and, and the atrocities that go on in their country as well. But I think there'll be a lot more of that coming out. You know, the likes of your Miguel Delaney's and your Oliver Holtz will be riding their white steeds of, of truthful righteousness through the streets of London, um, marching up to Newcastle United and, and you know, pulling out the, the, the sword of moralistic integrity to swing it at everybody. So be prepared for that. Brace yourself for impact. That is going to happen. But I think in another way, this documentary might help the club as well because there'll be a lot of fans who don't really know a lot about it and they just throw out the odd superlative like, oh yeah, you and your royal money and your blood money and all that kind of stuff. And I think when they see the emotional connection, you know, from what I'm hearing, certainly, you know, we, we all know how open and honest Sean Longstaff has been about the struggles that he had under Steve Bruce and everything else and then the journey he's been on is, is almost a movie in itself, really. Um, you know, pulling himself back from the brink there and you know, struggling with mental health and, and being as open and honest as he has been with it, which is amazing to see from a young lad. Real strength and bravery, that from Sean. Um, so, uh, you know, apparently he talks very openly and honestly in the documentary and it's very emotional. Um, you know, and then obviously Amanda Stavely, her passion for the football club, what you know, what it means to her, what it meant to her to get this deal done, I think, again, is something that will resonate with a lot of people. But I think seeing Eddie Howe and the, and the, and the players and the camaraderie and the just the general feel-good factor behind the scenes in Newcastle United, it might be hard for an opposing fan just not to fall in love a little bit with the charm uh, and the togetherness and the unity of all of that as well you know there will be some fans who still throw the throw shit at it you know and that, that's their prerogative you know they, these will just be the little social media muppets that throw throw comments out of you and throw slurs and insults out but half of them don't even understand what the hell they're talking about to be honest with you like you know a Manchester United fan will throw blood money at you and they've had Saudi investment in their club for years so you know it's that kind of a thing that kind of hypocrisy and, and just general yeah, moronic um Twitter Tourette's or X Tourette's if you want to call it now that they're just throughout there so I wouldn't get too wound up about all that kind of stuff but back to documentary yeah I'm really excited by it let, let us know what you guys think in the comments below 
I think it'll be fantastic. I think it'll be really well received. Um, I think certainly by Newcastle fans and and definitely in the in the large world of football, I think as well. And it'll just show you how special this football club is. And then the people who really matter behind the scenes of the football club as well will get their chance to tell everybody who they are. You know, and I think obviously the likes of we know how amazing they are. The likes of the War Flags crew and everything else as well. And I think for other supporters to see the work. And the dedication, the sacrifice that those guys put in as well, I think will will be will be fantastic, and it'll give them a lot more credence and and respect. I think in the game by opposing fans, maybe that they've never had before. Yeah, so so yeah, really excited by it. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, it would be lovely to be invited to one of them one day. So as I mentioned, click subscribe, help get the numbers up if you can, and one day we could get invited to that as well, and we could tell you all about it. But, but yeah, I'm not jealous at all. I think it's amazing for those content creators. I'm really buzzing for them. I think all the work and sacrifices that they put in over the years to get their channels to where they are, uh, you know, massive respect to them, and I hope they enjoyed the night, and I'm sure that they did. But yeah, that's me done for my thought of the day on this kind of a thing as well. If this is what you like with us, smash that button, as I say, like the video, uh, help the channel get around YouTube. We're, we're nearly at 4,500 subs. Once we get there... I'm going to announce, or we're going to announce, what the prize is uh, for the 5K giveaway. And I would recommend everybody who hasn't subscribed, subscribe, because that is an absolute belter of a prize, certainly for a Newcastle fan, but even if you're just a fan of football and iconic footballers as well. So there's a little indication for you there. So smash that button, guys. Help get us to 4.5K, then to 5. And uh, we'll be back soon with some Newcastle United crack. We've got pre-season coming up this weekend. The Cup, Seller Cup. Me and Mark are going to be there buzzing for that. Hope the weather stays... Uh, well, hope the weather gets a bit nicer. Or we'll be watching it with bloody snorkels on, I think. Uh, and then, obviously, the season kicks off the week after that. We'll have loads of content coming. Match previews. We're going to talk to Aston Villa fan as well uh, from the Villa Park podcast. So we're doing great things as well. Uh, top guy. So we're really looking forward to hearing their thoughts on the season and how they, they feel about coming to Newcastle and what their chances are. And uh, we'll, me and the boys will be back on Wednesday uh, to talk about what we think the season's going to hold ahead and look at the squad and everything else as well. So keep it ever more, guys. Hit the button. Come and join us. Have a cracking weekend, whatever you're doing. We'll see you later. Cheers. Bye.